Hello and welcome back to Viking Conquest and our Iron Man Challenge. Now we're going to be starting this episode with a wonderful naval battle against some traders from the Mias. And I'm very much hoping that this is going to reduce my reputation just a little bit. Hand over your gold and valuables now. I am robbing you. Yes, there we go. Oh, fantastic. There we go. We are now reducing our reputation. Now, I have actually checked my goals screen as I was making my way over here because, uh, believe it or not, I was all the way in Dorstadt. I was selling all of my stuff. I was in Tunsberg. I bought a bunch of tar and I bought a bunch of furs and everything. And then I made my way over the ocean all the way over to Edinburgh and I decided, okay, I'm going to try and increase the amount of units that I have in my army and then take those units back to my refuge and along the way maybe pick up some additional resources that I will need to create a better refuge in time. For example, timber and tools. Now I have all the tools that I need. I actually have five of those, but unfortunately I do not have that much timber. I need three more timber and I think I can probably go to a lumber camp for that. I think there might be a lumber camp quite easy to uh, quite easy to access, but uh, that uh, that might that might be quite far away. I'm not entirely sure at the moment, so we'll see how that goes. But as it stands right now, we're uh, we're fine. We're we're fine. We're doing all right. I mean, you can see here we're losing quite a few units in my pursuit of victory here, and uh, I'm a bit worried about these waves. Look at these waves; they're insanely rough right now. And uh, I think we might have some issues with them, but I, I'm 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 pretty confident in the, in the fact that we can probably achieve victory in total. But how many units am I going to lose? Look look at look at the waves! Wow, they're really rough. They are very rough right now. I should not be using my thrown weapons from that distance. Yes, a little bit uh, ill-advised, shall we say? So hopefully my forces will be done. Uh, in a second with killing whoever that is. For some reason, they're taking a long time to kill just that one guy. Ooh, nice. Kayo has leveled up to uh, level 6. That's nice to see. And maybe I can... Yep. Ah, oh, no. It, 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 it changed direction right at that one last second when I was throwing this. I was actually intending to hit that guy with the good armor on. Do you see that guy with the good armor? Yeah. Oh wow, I'm I'm doing pretty badly. Oh, I hit him in the in the butt. Yeah, hit him in the butt. That's not <laughs> it's not good for him, that's for sure. Oh nice headshot. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Another headshot, yes. Good work, Borgar. You're doing a good good thing for your people. <laughs> oh yeah, by the way, I've just realized as well that uh probably should have realized this beforehand, but I've just realized that my faction is actually a Christian faction. And of course, that's not exactly great uh, considering the amount of units that I'm using, what kind of units I'm using, and so on and so forth. So it's a little awkward, shall we say, to be fighting for a Christian faction. There are actually quite a few pagan factions, and I'm hopeful that we will be able to fight with them. Ooh, nice. We've actually got some more timber. Okay, that's great. So as you can see right here, I've got... Uh, one, two, three, four, and five sets of tools, which is great. And I actually have two timber. Don't I have three? Yeah, I've got three now. Didn't have three before. So now we've got three timber as well. So that is really, really nice. And otherwise, look at look at this great stuff that we can take. Oh, yeah. Give me all of that. Yeah, so now this is the main reason why you want to be attacking these traders, especially if you are like me and you are, you know, being a raider of some kind. And we will be gaining the infamous raider uh, goal complete relatively soon. So this is where I currently am, as you can see right here. I was actually making my way back to the port at Dublin, and I actually thought that maybe we would uh, try and attack the faction that we're currently at war against over here. I'm actually unsure which one that e Oh, no, wait. That's the orange one down here. Yeah, so I thought what we might do is actually go over here. Maybe we can find a good ship, because I actually did check Dorstadt and uh, Reba and Tunsberg for some good ships. But unfortunately, most of those are made out of ash. And I didn't really want to buy an ash one if I could help it. Ooh, there's actually another trader nearby. I will probably want to attack that trader in just a second, but let's actually take a look. Okay. 
Okay. Ooh. Uh, mm, yeah, mm, no. Now, usually I'd be like, okay, this is made out of oak. Its condition is very good, which is fantastic. But unfortunately, it is just a 27 man vessel and as i've said beforehand i'm looking for something that is at least 55 or more to add to my fleet because if i don't have that then it's going to be pretty harsh to uh actually uh you know take all of my units because i was actually wanting to take all of my units from my troop quarters near edinburgh all the way over here but that didn't work out because obvious reasons are obvious you know i just didn't have enough space and I needed to take my, uh, my my ships back over here. I needed to take my fleet. Otherwise I would have just walked across uh, the uh, entirety of the, the land areas and then just taken them across in a ferry or something like that. Ooh, this is cool. We haven't really fought uh, that many night battles on the ocean waves. This is going to be quite fun, isn't it? Unfortunately, the problem with this is you might not be able to see that well. And I don't, I, I might not be able to see that well, a matter of fact, but we'll see how it goes. So far, we're, we're traveling like no one's business. We're actually going very, very fast indeed. Let's actually just turn the camera a little bit, see if we can see around. And oh yeah, here we go. Let's slow down a little bit. No, don't, don't ram me, allies. Ah, oh, yes. Okay, apparently they are wanting to do that for some unknown reason. They're a little bit silly. Oh yeah, by the way, you can actually command your vessels as well. So if you want to, you can do that. I am just not very good at it. So let's just get a little bit closer. And there we go. Okay, that's perfect. Now if these guys... Oh, it's only one guy. <laughs> Why is there only one guy on that ship? That is hilarious. No wonder he's, he's being such an imbecile. Isn't just one of them. Who is that? Just a regular Viking. Okay. Well, we are going to be attacked from the side here. There's going to be another couple of people coming in. Ah, let's see if we can do some damage. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Nice. We killed one person at the very least already. And maybe we can get some more headshots. Headshots are really the best way to gain proficiency, especially with throwing weapons, at least at this range. So hopefully we'll see a couple more of those. But I have to be a bit careful about enemies coming in from over here. Oh, Asbjorn. Yes, nice. Asbjorn has leveled to six. That's fantastic. Usually, uh, companions take quite a while to actually level up. So it's going to be quite nice for us to get those guys skilled up a bit. Because obviously, Asbjorn is the second companion that we have actually had a level ha had a level up in this episode. So that's really nice. Otherwise, I'm just going to get ready. I, I really shouldn't stand on this vessel, should I? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Uh, guys... Could you... <laughs> oh, oh no. Oh no. Bad things are happening. Bad things are happening, everyone. Okay, it seems like this guy is wanting to push us out of the way, amazingly enough. Okay, let's, let's actually move this vessel a little bit this way. And then move forward. Just a, just, a, just a smidge, you know, just a little bit. There we go. Fantastic. All right, now let's try and hit this guy in the back. There we go. That was honorable. And, oh, yeah. ah, I was hopeful that that would actually hit from there, but apparently not. What about that guy? Ah, uh, no. Okay, am I out? No, no, I've still got two. I've still got two. All right, come on, guys. Uh, maybe I should just move my ship away and get these guys to actually get in there. Because it is, it is making them not so good. Oh, there we go, there we go. Okay, we've, we've become dislodged. Let's move forward a little bit. There we go. And then, oh yeah, there we go. It is a death sandwich. And boom. Oh yeah. Oh wow, that was nice. That was really, really nice. <laughs> uh, you know, I say that I'm not very good with throwing weapons, and that's true, but I actually do very much enjoy using them. They're really, really fun. When you can actually hit with them, they're very satisfying because they, they tend to make a very satisfying sound when they hit as well. So I think that's pretty cool, but otherwise, there you go. We did end up losing quite a few units, but we eliminated another trading party, and oh yeah, there we go. Now this is actually really nice. Let's add the ship to our fleet, and now we can take a whole bunch of prisoners. Oh yeah, come over here and join us. This is nice. 
And otherwise, we will just share the loot once again. Hopefully there's some timber here. Ah, no timber. That is kind of unfortunate. Going to swap out a couple of these hats for the helmets. And then we will just take the rest. There we are. Okay, that's basically all I can fit. Ugh. You know, I really need to get some more inventory management. I mean, really, it is just kind of kind of necessary for these kinds of situations. Anyway, let's go into the port here. And we now have another ship. I don't know what it is, so we should probably go back in there, actually, and see our ships. All right, so uh, this is our flagship at the moment, which is a 55-strong one. Uh, this is a secondary one, which is also 55. And then we have a 27, which I'm probably going to look to sell maybe soon. Not entirely sure. We'll see. And then we have this. Oh, that's actually a pine ship. And it, and it actually has a crew of 39. That's pretty good. It is going to require a large amount to repair, however, but it is a pine one. And pine is okay. Ash is usually the worst one. As far as I'm aware, in terms of the wood conditioning, followed by pine, uh, followed by oak. And oak is obviously the best. So, uh, yeah, I guess we're going to repair it because it's a 39 strong vessel. And I'm pretty happy with this because it's going to mean that we will be able to field a total army size of about 175, which I think is really good. So that's, that's okay. But I think what I'm going to do is, as I said, I think I'm actually going to sell this one because it is 27. We gain, as a result of this, 12 additional spaces. And I want to be able to potentially buy another vessel if we come across it or indeed be able to scavenge it from a potential fight. So I'm going to sell this for 5,700. There we go. And my capacity is now 149. That's pretty respectable in my opinion. That's, that's pretty good. All right, so we do have another vessel here that is Ash. Not going to be buying that. That is my one that I just sold, isn't it? <laughs> I think so, maybe. I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, otherwise, let's make our way out. Because what we want to do is we want to make our way over to the Veteran Renegades camp and actually see if I can sell some of this stuff. Let's see if there's a couple of people in the area here that we might want to attack as well. But what I am going to do is... Where's my, uh, where's my refuge, by the way? Where, where is that? I put that uh, nearby. Ah, oh, there it is. There it is. Bear-tailed hideout. Okay, fantastic. Yeah, so, wow. The faction that I belong to is actually really small, so definitely need to be a bit careful about that. Okay, well, whatever the case. Mm, 6,100. Very nice. Let's sell everything that I can here. Wow, it's a lot of stuff to sell. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, we've got way too much stuff here. All right, sell this, sell this. So this is this. Okay, that's basically all I can sell. Boom. All right, that's fantastic. And now let's actually just take a quick look around, see if I can maybe find another one. It would be nice, but maybe it's not even necessary, you know? I mean, maybe not. Anyway, I actually did see a comment that gave me a really nice name for our hideout. And Bear Teal Hideout doesn't really have a really cool ring to it, does it? So what I'm going to do... So I'm going to go over and we're going to rename it to, to uh, one of your suggestions, which is actually going to be very cool in my opinion. I think it's going to sound much better. Let's just say that. So we're going to call it Bear Tilled Barrows or Barrow. Because if we call it Bear Tilled Barrows, I guess we could call it that. Yeah, why not? Okay, Bear Tilled Barrows. I think that's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, we're going to have to increase this so let's see talk to my captain and five timber pallets right so that's what i need and we need five thousand pennies well we easily have that of course so yeah that's what i'm going to need to do and i'm thinking there's there's a lumber mill nearby is there not one nearby over here mm, yes there is look at that there is a lumber camp right there so if we can potentially get the timber from there we're going to be in a great situation and we'll be able to upgrade our refuge straight away. And then I can potentially move my forces all the way from my troop quarters near Edinburgh all the way over here. And we can, uh, you know, start to do some really good stuff. So hopefully I will be able to enter here in just a second. There we go. And let's go inside. <laughs> do I actually need to work myself? Or can I just work here? 
I'd like to buy some timber. I'd like to buy some. There we go. They have two. <gasps> That's perfect. Fantastic. Good work. Yes, pleasure doing business with you. Goodbye. All right. That is fantastic. Okay, so now that means I can go back to Beartilled Barrows and we can uh, talk to our captain. There we go. Go ahead. And I have the needed resources and money. All right, let's do it. Why not? Five tools, five timber, and they're going to get to work on that. It's going to take uh, seven days, I believe, so that's pretty good. And these guys right here are, well, they're not they're not uh, things I'm going to use because they are mostly Christians, I believe. So it's probably not something that I would want to mix into my mostly pagan slash mercenary unit. So otherwise... I think it's probably a good idea for us to go in here, and I, I just want to see if I can maybe buy some additional food. Do I need food? Not really, to be honest. Uh, let's get some boar meat, actually. And we'll get some sausages and some bread. Just, just stuff to increase our variety of food. That's basically what we want to do. We don't really want to buy any of the meat that will rot, either. So that's that's a thing that we definitely want to uh, try and avoid. Because this boar meat right here doesn't rot, so that's really nice. Otherwise, uh, these two have leveled up. So let's actually see what they can spec into. Hmm. All right, so this guy's Pathfinder Spotter already. He's got eight in that, which is just absolutely crazy. So technically what we could do is we could level up his agility twice more. And then, well, that would actually... Hmm, that would take a while. He needs to get to level 12 or 11 to be able to level up his agility twice more. And that's going to take a while. So I'm thinking maybe what we want to do is level up his strength. Should I level up his strength? That's going to add one point to HP, but it's not really going to do much else. I mean, these are both agility-based statistics so i guess i am just going to increase his agility even further and maybe we'll just give him a combat skill right now you know a couple of couple of combat skills because then he's going to be able to do that much more damage let's get him some more power throw why not let's get him some more power throw and then we'll get him some power strike as well so that he can just be an absolute beast in combat or something like that that seems pretty good and now asbjorn what is he going to go for well he is a surgeon First and foremost, uh, and a medic, very, very good at medic stuff, as well as persuasion. He's actually pretty good at that, too. He has seven in persuasion, even though he only has seven in charisma. That's pretty crazy. And he's got six in iron flesh. That's crazy. Wow, pretty cool. So, yeah, he's already maxed out his intelligence. So I guess the best thing that we can do is just level up his intelligence even further, because otherwise everything else is just going to be relatively similar. We do need to give this guy some throne weapons, so I'm just going to give him two points in throne, and do we want to give him some weapon master so that his shield is his shield skill is much better? Maybe something like that? Might be an idea, or maybe we'll just give him some more iron flesh so he doesn't die as often, but even so. Nah, I'm going to give him some weapon master. I think that's probably going to help him out a little bit better so his shield doesn't get destroyed so often. He actually does have throwing spears, as you can see right there. So hopefully he'll use them to good effect as we go forward. All right, that's great. So now let's just level up these. I need to find a ransom broker. Yeah, by the way, this is how I found out what each thing actually is, what each faction actually believes in religion-wise. So you just go to factions in notes. Then you can actually take a look. So most of these, as you can see, are Christianity. This obviously is Norway, technically. And this is the uh, faction that I was actually going to join initially. And I was a mercenary of theirs. And this is our current faction, as you can see right there. And then we have Leithlind. Leithlind. Where, where is that, actually? Because it might be cool to join them, potentially. But yes, mo uh, yes, that was the freeze. That is uh, freezer, freeze. I don't know. But yeah, those those are obviously uh, you know Dorstadt and and all those people and everything else is I think Christian from now on. Yes, it is. Okay, so where is where is uh, this one? Oh, that's Dublin. Oh, fantastic. That's actually really close by. We might actually want to faction hop a little bit and maybe join them. Are they actually at war against anyone right now? Let's actually take a quick look. Uh, they are at war with the Kingdom of Alban and the Kingdom of Lagin. 
Right. Okay. And that is where? Wh what? All the way up here? Are you serious? Okay. Kingdom of Auburn and the Kingdom of... Well, nowhere around here by the looks of things. That's interesting, isn't it? Okay. Well, uh... Lagan, Lagan, where's that? Ah, that's actually that's actually on Ireland. So it might make sense for us to join this faction relatively soon, but not right now, of course. But it seems like, uh, according to most of you, there are quite a few pagan factions that will have ransom brokers in the dock area of the town. So that's very, very useful. And thank you very much for letting me know about that, because that's obviously going to help me super much to find where those guys actually are. We're going to recruit those. We're going to do this quest as well. Actually, should I even... Yeah, I guess I should do this quest and just not take the uh, not take the good reward, you know, to give me honor or anything like that. So, uh, who, where do I actually need to save? Save the village of Dublin by North, which is over here. All right, so let's attack the bandits. We're just going to attack the bandits. We're not going to accept the reward. Uh... You know, we're going to, we're not going to accept the honor. Let's just say that. We're not going to get the reputation for saving these guys. We're literally just going to take the one that gives us the monetary uh, monetary reward. And that's it, basically. That's, that's going to be the best thing that we can do. And uh, maybe, just maybe, I will be able to do some nice damage. There we go. We've got a whole bunch of farmers. And these farmers are actually really good with throwing weapons. Or, well, at the very least, they are able to take on these kinds of bandits so that's pretty nice uh, I might as well just tell my people to charge in to be fair because it seems like they're having a, a couple of issues with the geometry and the various environmental things in this area so let's just take these guys out as best we can oh decapitated I'm so sorry sir you appear to be a little preoccupied yes absolutely anyway there you go Fantastic. Fantastic. Nice little victory right there. And uh, what I'm actually hoping on doing, uh, I'm actually going to just take it. And, oh, nice. We got some wool for free. Uh, that's great. That's actually worked out quite nicely for us. And we didn't gain any reputation. We gained some renown as well, which is really nice. Okay. So my plan right now is... Oh, what is actually going on here? Uh, making peace. Okay, that's absolutely fine. Yeah, so my plan right now is to stroll through town. And I'm actually going to try and find the uh, ransom broker he might be nearby here actually and yes you are absolutely correct fellows in the comments that have helped me out with finding a slave trader so there you go there's the slave trader and now we actually get to see the various prices that we can actually sell these guys for which i gotta say is pretty underwhelming as you can see they really don't sell for that much i had about 4200 when we started selling these guys and now i have 5800 so that was not that much at all and probably not worth it, to be fair. So I think we need to be a little bit more discerning in the future about what kind of units we decide to capture, because it's a bit of a hassle to try and find a slave trader. Maybe not in this case, because you can literally just go scroll through, you know, stroll through town, and then you could find the slave trader right there. Pretty easy, right? Yeah, pretty easy. So what I'm going to do now is I will try to find some more traders, because I'm actually very close by. Yeah. Yeah, try to find some more traders because I am quite close by to getting my goal done. And what I would also like to do is land here and actually go to the veterans camp real quick because I think they've probably restored their money by now. Yep, there you go. So now we will be able to sell all of this wonderful stuff. Get a whole bunch of cash because we are going to need quite a bit of it. There we go. Don't need these tools any further. Are oh, we probably... You know what? We're probably going to need these tools. Let's face it. We probably will. Because they're probably going to say, Ah, oh, for level two of this thing, you're going to need this. And then they're just going to give us a huge list of stuff. But anyway, what I'm going to do now, I have 149 spaces. Oh, hello, trader. Oh, yes. Let's take him on. And of your golden valuables. I'm robbing you. There we go. So now my reputation is minus 60, which is exactly what I need for my goal, by the way. So what is going to happen now is we are going to aim to get as much money as possible. I think we will probably have the money that we require from this particular engagement. And then I will have completed my goal finally. 
And I believe the reward for the goal completion is a couple of mercenary troops. I'm not entirely sure what. But it's going to be fun to find out, nevertheless. So we'll see how that goes. Because maybe it's going to be uh, much more than I can handle on my ships at the moment. And I might actually need to swap a couple out and put them into my refuge. That is probably going to be how it's going to go. But anyway, let's see if I can maybe get a couple of kills with... My oh, oh no, oh no. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be a little bit careful then, shall we? Because I almost flung myself into the ocean. That was uh, maybe a little bit ill-advised, wasn't it? Yes, just a little. All right, so let's see if I can maybe get around their rather hardy shields. Here we go. Boom. Yes, yes. Oh, we actually gained the, uh, <laughs> gained the damage bonus from hitting the enemy from behind. With a thrown weapon? I actually did not think that that would be the case, but apparently it is. That's that's pretty cool, actually. I was expecting that to only be applicable if you were to hit the uh, hit the enemy with a uh, melee weapon and not with a thrown weapon. But yeah, okay. I'm happy with that. All right, so let's just move a little bit further over here. It seems like I really don't even need to assist my forces. They seem to be absolutely fine. But I would like to maybe get there a little bit. Could you uh, could you just move us a move us over a little bit? Yeah, naval combat in Viking conquest, everyone. It is very uh, well. It's it's difficult to implement. Let's just say that it's probably very very difficult to implement. And uh, well, as you can see, it's not going too well for us at the moment. I think we might have too many ships. I think that might be the main reason. So I think the best thing that I can do going forward is in my off-screen time, because I'm actually going to go off-screen, do a little bit of progression. And what I'm going to do is I will just run around Ireland. I'll get a whole bunch of wool. I'll go to Dorstadt. I'll sell that. And then I'll check the ships in those areas. And I'll try to find one that has either 55 or 90 troops available. And then I will continue to kind of like upgrade my capacity and then sell on the other ships that we were using previously. I think that sounds like the best idea, at least at the moment. But there you go. We did end up losing nine units. And it's not really a big deal. And we do have a bunch of prisoners that we can take here. And hopefully this is going to result in us being able to gain a super, super large amount of really, really nice loot, which I think it is, as you can see right here. Ah, uh, beef. Uh, not, not too happy about that, but I will take the sausages and the uh, dried meat that's pretty good all right so let's hope that this refuge can i land here there we go all right so let's hope that this refuge has restored itself i'm actually just going to wait until morning and there we go yeah there we go nice Eleven thousand. fantastic all right so let's uh let's sell all of this Sell the tar, and you know what's going to happen? Now I will then need tar to upgrade our refuge. What do you bet? Yeah, probably going to have something like that happen. But anyway, I believe that is indeed it. And I believe I now have enough cash to complete my goal. So let's actually see what happens. Because I have enough space for my mercenaries. For the, for the mercenaries. Aha, uh -huh, there you go. You have achieved your goal. No task was too big for you. Rejoice in your accomplishment and get ready for what comes next. Choose a new goal. All right, so now we can choose what we want. So we've already done Infamous Raider. Can I? Yeah, I can't choose that again. <laughs> that would be a massive exploit, wouldn't it? Famous Warrior. You are a noble or mercenary and you can't abandon your oath. Okay, so yeah, obviously that. Powerful Lord. Okay, so what about Powerful Lord? We could do that. That requires a reputation of 20. I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, a custom goal has no reward. Okay, so this, these are my current stats. Is, are, these, are these my current stats? I don't think so, no. I'm not entirely sure what my current stats are at the moment. Stable kingdom? You need to be the ruler of your faction. Okay, so strong king is this. Powerful lord is this. Famous warrior, I can't do that. And I've done, already done an infamous raider. So my next goal will be... Powerful Lord, I suppose. We already have the army size of 150. Right to rule is zero. Wealth, easy enough. Renown, I'm not entirely sure what my renown is at the moment. Reputation is going to be the biggest problem. 
So let's do that. That sounds like a fun idea. Alright. Uh, yeah, be a hero or a villain. Well, we are certainly a villain right now, aren't we? Okay, so I did gain a couple of mercenaries. What, just robbers? Are you serious? That, w that was it? Is that is that literally all I got? Okay. Well, <laughs> gotta say I'm a bit disappointed by that. But anyway, I think that will be it for this episode. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.